With minimal relevant experience, we made the life-changing decision to move off-grid. Already having a temporary shelter, we felt pretty confident facing any challenges Mother Nature put in our way. However, we were not prepared for what happened next. A systemic leak in our roof I was repeatedly unsuccessful at repairing caused a severe mold problem, forcing us all to move into our tool shed. We attempted to make the best of the situation, but soon found ourselves unhappy and unwilling to use our limited funds in the winterizing of this space. With the new goal of moving out of our shed before winter temperatures hit, it's now a race against time to finish building a platform to hold the next evolution in our off-grid journey, a geodesic dome home. Even though it doesn't look like it, I sure got a lot done today. Put a pretty big dent in everything. Let's see what just as soon as he gets home. But my father should be here any time now. Um, last time I talked to him was about two hours ago and he was an hour away, so <laughs> any minute, I guess. How was your day? Good. How was yours? Busy. I got a lot done, so still a lot to go. When's your dad coming? Should be here within the next 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Oh, okay. So he's close. Hi, Richard. Oh, you do from there. <laughs> Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Well, he's arrived. I'm going to take them and working all day cleaning up, preparing. We're going to take the night and we'll be back on the deck tomorrow. So, see That's you right. in the morning. What's Good night, night y'all. So, the solar company, Opus, has sent us one of their units with a panel to kind of do a testing and a review on. We've had it for about two weeks now and so far I'm, I'm extremely impressed with the way it's performing. It's completely outdoing the previous system that we had, even though the previous system that we had was starting to malfunction, so this came right on time. I'll keep you all updated as to my experience with this unit and this company. So far so good though. But, yeah. I'm just glad that we have a way to charge our battery now that Alan's not here anymore since before we always used his solar system with him leaving this kind of put a power to the forefront of needs for winter but solved.
<laughs> I do too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got wood chips in your beard. I got wood chips in my beard. <laughs> Why didn't y'all tell me? <laughs> One of the best parts of building an off-grid community is being able to come together after a hard day's work, prepare a hearty meal, and share in all the ideas we have for our future. It's an absolutely gorgeous morning here in Tennessee, especially for the second week in November. I mean, it's already in like the 70s. There's not a single cloud in the sky. Today is a good day. I'm super excited. I have off work today, so I get to be here while they're working on the platform for our geodesic dome. I'm hoping to be part of the construction of that, so we'll see how the day goes but I am eager to get started and see what they're getting done today and how far we can get. Let's go enjoy this day. It's gonna be a good one, I can feel it. <laughs> I forgot to back nail these two by tens. Come look, have a look at this. They kind of sagged down, which we are attempting to repair right now. But we got to fix that before we can do the skinning. So what we're gonna do? Because we tried lifting this. It's not. It's not going anywhere. That's. Ooh. So we're gonna kind of build something to wedge under there and and bang it to kind of help us lift it up so we can nail it in place. Made a, I've made a number of mistakes on this project already. I know, but it's a, I mean, seriously. It's a learning experience. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not mad at myself for it. Okay, good. Don't be. I won't allow it.
So what this is, is when we do the blocking, we want to stagger the boards on uh, at each joist on either side of the line. So we're going to go back and forth, going all the way down to the other side. <laughs> Surprise, Mac. <laughs> that was actually really quick. Yeah. I, that took less time than I thought it would. Yeah. <laughs> it's great that you start. Go! Here we go again. To the side. The crown on these boards is insane. And what does crown mean? Stop testing it because it's only a matter of time until you actually get hurt. <laughs> We are waiting on more nails to come so we can do this other side and then finish toenailing all the rest of these two by sixes in. We gotta finish building the berm still and then we gotta do the skin. Getting close to the end. Getting close <laughs> but yet so far still. I know. They don't matter because this string's over here. All right, so we got some rain coming for Veterans Day and today the Marine Corps birthday. It's going to, we're supposed to get a lot and normally we would raise this flag like we did last year on the day but we're going to we're going to raise it today in honor of our troops and have to take it down before the rain does come because this is a very special flag. Do you want to? That's for Lieutenant Calaguire, very special friend of mine, uh, now Sergeant Major Martinez, California National Guard. Uh, I'll do one for, you know, Benjamin uh, was killed over there hit with a sniper. So this will be for him also and for Adam and uh, for TJ, uh, Traster, and uh, they're all of Alpha Team. Take care now. Thank you. One of the things that makes this flag really special is my father raised this at multiple locations all over Iraq during his tour of duty. Um, you want to say a few of the places it was? Uh, it was all in Anbar uh, province, the, the worst part of Iraq. There was uh, uh, Ramadi proper, Blue Diamond across the uh, river, uh, Marine Corps post, uh, Al-Assad Air Base, and al Qaim on the Syrian border. And with that, there were a few other uh, people I should mention. That uh, besides the ones I've done before, so first Sergeant Roy White, uh, Captain Sean Keefe, uh, Colonel Mack, who was killed also over there, and uh, there was also, um, well, I, I guess they, they know who they are, they have a lot of friends over there. Um, take care. Thank you all for your service. We appreciate Happy birthday. It. To the Marine Corps. Happy birthday, 247. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, vets, thank you for your service. Happy Veterans Day.
Well, a little bit of a change of plans with the steady rain that we're going to have all day. Um, we're not going to be working on the deck down there. The clay and the ground is just really slippery. So it's, a little, it's just dangerous to work in. The next thing is the rainwater collection system that I built doesn't seem to be working all that well. I'm going to be checking the gutters here for debris, leaves, and all the piping to make sure nothing's clogged up. But I definitely feel since it's been raining since last night that we should have collected a lot more water than we have. I mean, honestly, I can't even tell if we collected any. Um, so something's going on, and I'm going to get in here and check it out. Is it pretty clean? Yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah, it is. Does it get water in there? There's water, so it's got to be potentially in the pipe. Okay, let's go let's move down here and look. We found the problem. Water's all pouring out here. Yeah, no wonder. <sighs> okay, maybe it's just clogged. We'll check it out now, though. It's this clog. It's a little bit, yeah. Okay. Okay. Move it out of the way, please. Thank you. There we go. Now it's going back up. All right, very good. Let's give it a little bit and I'll come out and lift and pour. We had to, we had to cut the 500 micron filter sock out because the water wasn't going through it at a fast enough rate. It was just pouring out the back and we were losing all kinds of water because it's been raining since last night and we really haven't collected much. So hopefully, this fixes the problem. You know what? I'll actually be happy that if uh, this fixes this problem and I won't feel so like defeated that we just lost the whole work day on the deck. Right. At least we got something fixed. <laughs> got something fixed. We got water. We got water, which is extremely important. Mom, I can't get him to come out of the rain. <laughs> <laughs> I like it out here. Right. Apparently... I wanted to crawl, low crawl over to the car, but he won't let me. No. And look, apparently Nikita does too. Nikita, what are you doing just standing out in the rain? Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, you're getting wet, Kiki. <laughs> All right, come on, guys. Let's go inside. The temperature's dropping really low tonight. It's getting down into the low 20s. We don't have much of a heat source in that shed yet. Well, we're actually not putting one in, in there at all. We have a little propane heater, but it doesn't seem to do a very good job of keeping heat inside. I mean, there's no insulation. I see you already made it in the fetal position. I have a frozen. <laughs> You're frozen? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm frozen and freezing. Lay down, Kita. Yeah. We didn't get as far as we planned on with the platform this week and because of the rain. Uh, it was just too muddy and slippery to work anyway. Now we have this cold weather coming in, so we're just going to bunker in for the night, get under all these blankets, cuddle with the dogs as you can see they're already doing. <laughs> <laughs> yep, one step down. <laughs> yep. But next week, next Sunday, is both Jess and I's birthday. Birthday. Last year, we didn't do anything special at all for our birthday. We had just pretty much moved to the property not long prior. And this year, we're going to do something. Do something a little special. A little special. <laughs> we're going to bring you along for part of it. But um, I'll be kind of happy to tell you what that is here this week. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. All right, everyone. 
Uh, we'll see you next week for the rest of the build of the platform. And keep growing. We love you. See you next Sunday. Hey. Right? Till next time.